Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games. Welcome to this evening's stream. Hi everybody. Hi Tony. Hi Perfect Target. Hi anybody else that I might have missed further up the chat because I can only see this much. Tell us. <laughs> That's all it is. Ah, fair enough. You're not missing anything. Fair enough. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Hello everyone. Hello. Hey John, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Hi John, much. thank you. Arriving again. Eight months. Eight months. Eight awesome. Months. Thank you very much. You're so, thank you. You're so thank you. Cool. Thank you. Oh, look, Panda's cheering for you. Panda loves John. Do yeah. the belly dance. Look. <laughs> hey Pete, how you doing? Hi everybody. So this evening, uh, I'm not going to be dry brushing. You've been all very now. rough, are you? That's very rough. I am. It's because it's uh, it's a base coat for my slap chop. Slap chop. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just trying to get them done uh, super quick. Get some uh, get some white on them so we can start getting some other colours in the uh, in the mix here. Yeah. Hi, Kronico. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get these guys whited up and then we're gonna start. Putting some uh, some other colour on them. Excellent. That's the uh, that's the plan. Slap chop. Slap chop. Hot me, hot me. Do -do 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 -do. And I left them over there. You me. said you said have I got everything ready, and I I haven't yeah, got everything ready. ready. You haven't done the live post. You haven't done the lighting. You haven't done the notes. Done the lighting. I did the lighting. The minis are in the same colour, style, size box as uh, as minis. Our house is lovely. It contains uh, basically loads of grey stacking boxes in a corner. Mm -hmm. Because we've got. We've got enough storage for everything. There's your hat, my dear. Oh, I have to put it on you. Yeah, I've got the paint all over my hands. Okay, and then we're going to show your hat off. Here we go, and here's... Duck. Yeah, and then you've got a wig for you. Okay. Wants you want both. John the Templar says spiffy. Oh, that's that might. Oh, no, it's the other one. Yeah. <laughs> get me, I'm going to get my bum on. There you go. You'll have to show that off. <laughs> Beautiful. Come in. Tony says that he knew we'd left the box over there. <laughs> we always leave the box over there. That's what we do best. It looks like you've got a massive forehead now. <laughs> Just a bit of hair sticking. We've got a five head. A five head, yeah. Pepe, I nearly put that hat off on him. Oh, there's a, a bear with a big snot bubble hanging down from its mm. nose in the, in the top left-hand corner. There must be a Pokemon about that it hasn't bothered telling us. Why has it got... Oh, I just want to wipe its nose. Look how sad it looks. Then it's got a big blow. Well, what's that Pokemon called? Oh, I don't know. Snot it's gone. Bear. It's gone. No, the Pokemon's already escaped. Yeah, it didn't tell us it was there. Cup chew. Oh, like a... Like a cub having a sneezing fit. Yeah, right. John put pike catch, and they're gonna throw some fish at it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, it didn't tell us, and then it escaped. I don't know if I really wanted to snot filled bear. To be fair, <laughs> snot filled bear. Yeah, I couldn't uh, couldn't decide what I was gonna paint this evening. I've toyed with the idea of doing a dragon. Yeah. Ooh. And then, what kind of dragon? Well, I've got this. I've got the Chevron of the Slayer oh, that we're going to do for one. the large group mini. Uh, that's over here. And, uh, <laughs> Tony's chucking fish at it as well. Perch cat. Sorry. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I was considering doing a bit of work on that, and then uh, I remembered that I had all of these um, that I'd started on the other weekend, and that I really need to get get these guys done. Excellent. So. So that's what the, you're doing. So these are first. 
And then once we then once we've done these guys, we'll do the dragon. And at some some point in in this month, I've got to fit an an ank egg in. Which, um, I'm painting that for RCL, I think. Did you actually get started? I think so. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Pizza redeemed a hydrate. Hydrate. Have a hydrate. I've got my head in the cupboard. Everybody hide I've had my head in a cupboard. We'll it's that. too cold to go into the hobby room, so I'm holed up in the living room. Yeah, we didn't want to move, if we're absolutely honest. It took me ages to get the fire to light. It took me ages to get it to go in here. Well, well you, set, you set the house on fire. Yeah. <laughs> it took us ages to get the fire to light in the living room, and then we had to leave the living room where it's nice and warm uh, to come in the orangery where no one's been all day, and it's... And it's rather nippy. So you tried to light the fire in here. And then mm. when I walked in, I couldn't see him because there was just smoke. And I had to grab all the washing because in true husband style, it smoked out all my nice clean washing. Uh, so I had to grab that and run out of the room with it. So I'd try and not make it stink. Uh, so now we're just sat in a room of smoke, really. <laughs> but you don't have a sense of smell, do you? N to, not really. To, to me, this is just like... I'm sat in a burning inferno now, but it's not warm. <laughs> hey, Sharon! Hi! I have a bunch of non-dragon minis too, says Karen Eagle. One day I'll get around to painting them. No, you won't. <laughs> no, no, you won't. That's just, that's just over there, just to remind you that non-dragon minis exist. That's all that pile's for. I oh, see. We don't, we don't have an up. <laughs> My hobby room is like, the edge of the Arctic Circle. So all, all, our, all our rooms are on one level. Yeah. Uh, we don't have many. And they're all on one level. But uh, at the back of the house is cold. I did get a bit more painting done, says Tony, on Colin the Troll. Colin be trolling. And mm. my gelat gelatinous cube that needs naming. Oh, what, what, was, what was the mimic? Chester. Chester the mimic, is that right, Tony? Colin is trolling and Chester the Mimic, I think. I, I think I remember that correctly. So, um, Galath, I can't say that. Galath, Galath. What's the cube called? C3. Gelatinous. Yeah, that thing. That needs a name. Mm. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, the, the, the cube, I can't say his name. All good fun. Uh, Tony and. Is it asthma, Tony? Is it asthma? And you're, you're doing for the uh, great MLG brush off uh, this month. The theme is classic monsters. So, Tony and asthma, I think I might, I might have it wrong, are uh, doing like proper classic um, AD, D, &D thing, hmm. whatever it's called. Uh, and they've done like loads already. <laughs> and Tony's got his book for reference. Which, which I agree with you, Tony, is in surprising nick for its age. But then maybe you're like Mr. MLG and you take really good care of your books. Don't books are important. Yeah. Not allowed to bend those spines or anything daft like that. It's uh, so much more satisfying having a physical book than having a... Uh, Screen. You know, PDF copy. PDFs are all right, handy. You know, but yeah, I, I really like book. I like the satisfying feel of flicking through the pages. You can't you can't smell the uh, the pages of a <laughs> PDF. PDF. Uh, I uh, I'm just peeling the paint off my wet palette. And you might be able to hear. I, it. I wonder what it's it was. not a wet palette anyway, is it? Well palette. I cleaned all yours, and I I, I, saw. I, I seem to have not bothered my, with my own. So that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice of me. I don't yeah, know what happened yeah. there. Oh well, never mind. My, just... Mine weren't as mucky as yours. Mine have just got yellow on from painting the little, the little goblins yellow, and now, and now I've got all these little yellow goblins, hundreds of them. Well, how many? Let's get rid of that. Nine. Broke. I've broken a bit off. We won't worry about that. Tony worked it out. The book is 41 years old. Oh, it's it's younger than us. <laughs> it's not old. It's it's younger than we are. <laughs> it's still in its prime. Yeah. 
I, I concur. <laughs> I've got all sorts of bits and pieces on my desk that are irrelevant. I've got a thousand goblins. That one's that one's actually got a bit of green on it. Did yes. I paint that one? Uh, no idea. I must have done. I wonder why he's just chucked over there. He's still on his sprue. Sprue? He did these ones on those sprues, didn't he? Yeah, well, it's easy. John the Templar wants it to be Halloween. Yeah! yeah. Halloween! Halloween! Yeah! I did like dressing as Beetlejuice, I must admit. <laughs> so, so much so, I did it twice. Now nah, then, you right. Hey up, Red. How are they doing? <laughs> Red's in the house. In book terms, it's due for a letter from the king. <laughs> That's true. It's very, very good condition for an older book. It is. It needs a little walking stick. And make it a little jacket to keep it warm in the cold. <laughs> That's what you need to be doing. I came to the shop with you today, didn't I? Yeah, Mrs. MLG has been picking post. Yeah, so your post that we've done today has been picked by me. I saw that you'd started writing Mrs. MLG on them. Yeah, well... It was getting a bit too close to my signature in real mm. life, so I thought I'd better change it. Hadn't got there yet, but it was getting a little bit too close. <laughs> a few uh, a few letters missing, but you know, just just to be just to be safe. Red's on the hard stuff tonight. What what are you having? Looks like you're doing dry fruit juice. Yeah, dry January or maybe it's hot chocolate. That never tastes as nice as. Tony, think Tony says Horlicks. Horlicks. Oh, no, Horlicks is strange. It's, it's old teen. Old teeny. <laughs> I don't think I've had an oval teen for a thousand years. I'm not sure if I've ever had an oval teen. Horlicks is strange, isn't it? It was very close, Tony. Very, very close. My, my guess was miles off. Oh, oh. You can't be getting warm. I was, I was. Oh, I was just going to say, where's the dog? Oh. He's snuck in. Bye then, see ya. <laughs> we are the awful teenies. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I came to work with you today, and unfortunately, guys, that means that there are a few random videos of me walking about the shop uh, to contend with. I do apologise. Uh, I look the same in all of them, because obviously I've got the same outfit on, apart from one. I haven't got my hat on. <laughs> Steady on there with the costume changes. Uh, so what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to put some paint on these guys. Oh, okay. That's what I'm, going to do. I'm supposed to be putting some paint on this girl and I've picked her up and I'm, I know that there's so much more that could be done with it, but I don't have the skill level to know what that is. Do you know what I mean? Somebody else would pick this up and think, oh, that's halfway done, whereas it's done for me. Because I can't think what else it is that I could do. MLG beanies, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's it's, uh, it's Nathan's. I stole it because my head was cold, didn't it? Yep. And you've got fingerless gloves as well, haven't you? I have MLG fingerless gloves. There's, there's no heating in the shop, you see. <laughs> no heating in the shop. We, we've got one electric radiator. That uh, was yeah, three, sto me. three story building. <laughs> no, there, there are there are more radiators spread around the shop but it's not warm no. there's one behind the till there's one in the post room and there are a couple on the gaming floor yeah and one in the office yeah well the office is the warm and warmest place you open the door Smallest to the office room. and it's like a sauna i'm surprised that ross don't fall asleep while he sat up there it's that warm <laughs> Yes. Show us, we can give you ideas. Oh, the mini. Sorry, I was like, the ideas for saunas? What, should, <laughs> what are they on about? <laughs> I have a beanie with a user bright LED at the front. I have that, Tony. I have that. Perfect for uh, dog walking in the dark. Yes, I I have that one. And you, you press it, don't you? And you get three different settings on mine. Uh, but the glue has started to come off. So... So when you turn, when it's turned up, it's like glued to the hat so it doesn't flop forward. My glue started to wear off, so sometimes it sometimes it flops forward and blinds me. But I have one of those black beanie with a light in the front. I'm so classy. 
but uh, it does mean that people can see me when I'm walking in the dark and I can see where I'm going. <laughs> I do look silly though. I don't think you look silly. No, but, it, but it's fine because, you know, I don't, I don't need to impress anybody. I just need to be safe. <laughs> Because uh, uh, Little Miss steals my torch. So if I'm walking with Little Miss, I don't have a torch. So And, and it gets waved around and I say to her, no, yeah, I, that's exactly, that's it, Tony. I say to her, don't wave that torch around, you'll blind the motorists. But uh, it, she never shines it in front of us where we need to walk. She shines it in front of herself sometimes, but, you know, the hat is good. Yeah, it is very bright. Mine's very bright. For, for a little tiny thing stuck in a hat, uh, I'm quite impressed with it. It came from my friend's shop. Uh, which, you know, they sell all sorts, don't they? Oh, yeah. yeah it's like a farm shop yeah. thing. Uh, farmers, merchants. So they sell, like, everything from wellies, nuts and bolts to uh, firecrackers sorts. and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Oh. Are you holding it? Yeah. It's still at any point, any point at all. Yeah, no, you're still... I know you're still moving it because I can I can see it still. I'm moving. trying to hold it still. <laughs> and that's as focused as it'll get. Trying to hold it still. So I move it a little bit closer. Oh, if you want to, it mm. wants to focus on the on the back ground. Is the problem? There we go. So this is uh, this, this is, is my the mini. appalling effort. I think it looks really good. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Your sides are awful. Uh, but anyway, that's yeah. It's it's all right. I mean, it's all right, but I don't know, I don't know. And then it's just going to have a grey base, because that's as exciting as I ever get. Grey base is what happens. It does look like like she's wearing a wig, like her forehead, like, I don't know, it's because I've painted it strange. It does look like she's wearing a wig. I think it's, it's those eyes that I've I think she looks good. splodged all of them. I've made you all dark now, haven't I? Hmm? Looks Let's good. find you again. Oh look, there's a weird Pokemon y thing. Go catch it, go catch it. Oh I just focused back on the boy. <laughs> so uh the other Sorry. night. King boy. Well. Look at that, it's got one massive claw. There is a crab in real mm. life that's got one massive claw, isn't there? And he uses it? it. Yeah, it's like a one with the biggest claw is the best for the ladies type thing. Oh, really? Massive, huge, good, can't use for anything else other than showing off and fighting, and then one little <laughs> tiny claw to feed itself. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddler crab, is that what it's called, Corinne? I'm glad that somebody knows what I'm talking about o on occasion. <laughs> and I'm not just making stuff up. Fair enough. Fiddler crabs. Mm, apparently. With its one massive hand. One massive hand. Tony is going to brave the hobby room to get Colin and Jerry for a photo shoot. Awesome. His uncle Stig got him Battletech for his birthday. Nice. That's what, 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 oh, that's from... Did we read that one out? Little Red got me an adventures game with his gift token and I got him the model Star Destroyer for doing well at school. Did I awesome. read that out? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. And his uncle Stig got him Battletech for his birthday. Wow, awesome. that's got loads of stuff. Awesome. Little Miss got some new trainers today. Yeah. Lego Lego trainers. They've got a Lego brick in the sole and they've got all uh, studs, snot. Is it snot, studs, snot, something? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, she was very impressed. She didn't want to take them off and I had to make them take her off, take them off to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. What, what were they for? They were just like an impromptu, do you want these trainers? Well, no, she needs, she doesn't have any any non-school shoes that fit her. Right. She's got her school PE trainers that have got to be black. And she's got her school shoes, but she hasn't got any other shoes for just weekends and things. Right. And these were an offer. And she loves Lego. And there was all different colours to choose from when she's gone for the multicoloured ones, which I didn't expect her to, but I gave her the choice. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're but, pretty cool. They're a bit wild. They are a bit wild. But they're pretty cool. I can't focus on one moment. It's not having it all right. <laughs> so, um... Oh, Connie, I've got the, got the crab. That's because that's she knew it's cousin the fiddler crab. That's what that was all about. 
yeah, another poke thing to add to the herd that I have no idea what to do with. You can fight with them. You can fight fellow Pokemon community game people somehow in that little control pad. I've done it once and somebody else set it up for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and I lost miserably. It's all Beam and Aqua's fault. It's his fault that we've got it in the first place. It's his it? fault that we've all got it. Hamish, us, and Wicked Day. It's all. <laughs> It's all Veeman's fault. Veeman b- battled me that time yeah. and then laughed hysterically when I lost, even though I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's they're just fun when they pop up. It's just something else to do while you're watching Nathan paint yeah. white. <laughs> I'm not painting white, I'm painting skin now. Oh, okay. While you watch Nathan paint skin. How is the stream doing today, everybody, anyway? Because last week it was being a silly billy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was glitching out all over the place. Is it doing alright today? I've got your um, blue ink there. You can you can have that back. I'll let you. I'm so. Where have you got that? I thought I borrowed it to do this. This this person. Bo- borrowed. Can go there before it goes back in the drawer. Well, it was on your desk originally, so. I didn't know. Uh... Can't see his skin. He's got his helmet down. So, what are you going to be using these people for again? Uh, I'm going to be using them for Kings of War and Warhammer Fantasy Battle. So, we're going to play some uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle Sixth Edition eventually, okay. uh, and uh, and some Kings of War when my opponents get their uh, armies ready. So. That's it, Drake. I borrowed it. I've actually given it back now, though. Look, the fact that he didn't even know I had it <laughs> shows <laughs> that he's not really bothered. Yeah, I haven't needed it for uh, a few days, so that's when I when I was looking for it, and I was going, or I would be looking for it, and I would be going like, "Where's that blue ink? I had it on my desk. Where is it?" And I'd go, "I know, I, I had it. know, sweetheart. Are you sure you haven't put it in the cupboard?" Yeah. And then sneaking it back. Across the side when you weren't looking. You, <laughs> you <laughs> now I've just got oh, it's here. <laughs> Did my bit with education over the weekend. Introduced my youngest to John Carpenter's The Thing. Classic <laughs> film. It sure is. He loved it. Little one won't watch films, will she? Mm, she's too young to be watching The Thing. Well, yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah I, I was just, you know generalising films yeah even though she's got real into the disney computer game mm-hmm. she has yeah dreamlight valley she don't want to watch any of the disney movies nope she wants a movie night she asked me the other day when movie night was going to be and i said well, what movie do you want to watch and she said oh i don't want to watch a movie i just want to eat some popcorn <laughs> <laughs> uh, i watched a movie on Saturday. What did you oh, yes, yeah, I yeah. watched Unleashed, which has got Jet Li in it. Uh, I quite like martial arty type things like that. Uh, apart from this wasn't anything like that. It was quite sad <laughs> and dramatised and uh, not what I expected at all. It was good and I watched the whole thing, <laughs> but it wasn't really wasn't really what I was expecting. Hey, Wicked Dean. It was... Uh, it wasn't just mindless kung fu coolness. There was a whole sad story. Yeah, to it. a bit weird. Bad sounds of it. I didn't watch it. Well, I was uh, it's from 2005. I was, I was soaring up firewood on yeah. Saturday. That was my day. Everybody had left me, see, so I was all on my little Todd sorting cards out. As you know, that's always joyous. Uh, Kurinika says, "I watched Bill and Ted face the music." It was certainly... That's it, Danny mm, the dog. Certainly a film. That's it, Danny the dog. That's that's the one. I hadn't seen it before, you see, obviously. And I was trying to find something. I finished watching Danny the... Danny the dog. Yeah. I finished watching The Imperfects. That's good. If you haven't seen that. That's like um, um, a daft... It's, it's not... It's not... It's, <laughs> what? Well, it's like, it's not silly, but it's, you know, not taking itself too seriously. It's just right. uh, something that you can watch 
and just have fun watching it. And okay. it's it got like, you know, it's like a sci fi supernaturally right. type thing with creatures and things in it. So okay. they're they're these three kids are the results of a genetic experiment by uh, some scientists and now they've got powers that they don't particularly want. But obviously they've got them and they have to try and deal with that and help they help people along the way while they're trying to find out a cure to get rid of them. Right. Type type of thing. I uh, see. I suppose you could class it in the misfits type of programme. Right. If you like misfits that, and yeah, stuff we like, like that. We liked misfits. Then then you might like the imperfects. It was good. Recommend giving it a go. At least. It was on Netflix, I think. So that's you see, that's like two whole reviews I've done there. Look at that. Awesome reviews <laughs> from me. Uh what did we watch the other night? We watched. I watched a the... bridge too far. Then rollerball says Red. Oh, rollerballs! Like the original one or the like remake you want? With the uh, the guy out of American Pie. What's rollerball? Rollerball is a sci-fi movie um, about a futuristic. Um, what's the word? Eastern. European, almost Russia type state, where they televise uh, this TV program called Rollerball, which is all about really violent, um, like dodgeball <laughs> right, <laughs> on, okay. on on roller skates. Is it a bit like that roller <clears throat> derby thing that people play, but with actual death? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, rollerball. Rollerball's pretty cool. First one, the best one. So yeah. Red. So, uh, yeah, good, good movie, rollerball. And uh, I can't remember what it was now. We watched Tropic Thunder. That's what we watched the other night, wasn't it? Yeah. Tropic Thunder. It was. Uh, I'd forgotten. Forgotten about Tropic Thunder. Why did we watch Tropic Thunder? I know you picked it, but why did you end up? Why? Well, because I've not seen it for ages, and I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to watch it. Basically, I'd, I was looking through the channels, and I settled on a couple of movies that I, I thought I'd like to watch. And Mrs. MLG went, I'm "Not watching that." <laughs> oh, but they were boring. You'd have been asleep, mm. and then I'd have just been sat there on my own. <laughs> I can't even remember what they were. They were that boring. No, I can't remember. Yeah. And then, and then you went, "Oh, can we watch Tropic Thunder?" And I went, "If you mm. really have to." Yeah. Then you had a laugh. As and well. you did. Then you had a laugh as well. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just silly, isn't it? Yeah. So, which is what I thought. Well, that's better than the boring ones that you were picking. It's just daft. And the the very good acting in it as well. <laughs> yeah. To to be fair to them, to say how just daft it is. It's got loads of people in it, yeah. hasn't it? Loads of famous people in it that you go, oh look, there's that. That's that person that I can't remember their name, but they've been in loads of stuff. And then, uh, and then last night, we watched the first episode of Our Flag Means Death. Yeah, I'm hoping that gets better because it's rubbish. Yeah, that that was a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's the only way I can describe it. That's a bit weird. Well, it was only the first episode. Uh, I was told that it's a bit like that vampire thing in the shadows or whatever that I can't remember is that what it's called which I don't like either so I was preparing for it to be a bit poop and uh, it was but it might get better it might get better I know there's loads of people out there that really love it uh, but yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes that is a funny line that is a funny line in fact there's loads of funny lines in it isn't it there's loads of funny lines the salute of the jugger next weekend. Don't know what that is either. No, I'm not not sure on that one. Yeah, and the trailers at the start. Yeah, see, I I, I have seen Tropic Thunder before, but again, forgot forgot about it. Yeah, knew I'd seen it, yeah. but it's, uh, so, yeah. it's it's a goodie. It's a goodie. 
So these guys that I'm uh, currently doing here with the big two-handed axes, they, these are Umber great axes. These are House Umber from uh, Game of Thrones. And then in a second we've got some Mormon she-bears who are uh, ladies, are. ladies with massive maces. Why got anything to point? Hmm? Got a dozen goblins here. <laughs> I've got, they're all yellow. Ooh. They're the yellow goblin clan. Hey, Crafty, you're yeah. just talking about goblins. Uh, they're all yellow. And I still, like, they're completely dried now, and I still can't tell any difference. I can. Can you? Yeah. What? What can you tell from having a pink undercoat? There are, oh, all right, there's a, there's a tiny, tiny... That one with a white undercoat is a bit brighter. And those two with a pink undercoat is a bit more orange. But everyone goes on and on about it there, don't they? Like, oh, pink undercoat for yellow, it's amazing. It's like, no, it's exactly the same. And which one's which? This, they've got they've written underneath. All oh, right, okay. So these three are two thin coats. So that's that's white undercoat. A skulky yellow over a oh, white God, undercoat. That's just terrible. <laughs> it's it looks, just the brightest. It looks luminous. The brightest thing in the world. Ah, oh, it's too small. Right, so that's yeah. on the white, and Skulky then yellow over white, and okay. then full grim pink. The city full grim pink undercoat, and the army painter centaur skin. They're all the same. No, they're not. They're all the same. They are. They're not. This is definitely brighter. And these are, there's there's definitely a this, difference. So centaur pink. That's I think like a is, fleshy pink. Yeah, I think that's the best one. That's the least patchy looking. Well, you can't oh. really go with patchy oh. looking. That's just my application. Yeah, red, red, red agrees. Third one's the best. So that's centaur. That's army painter, mm. right? So that's that's your two thin coats. You all right? Yep. Now, you can tell with these ones. So this is Reaper's my Pale Saffron. Oh, like coffee, probably. And and this is over... They're, they're over your Green Stuff World nuclear white. Okay. All of them. But they were all painted nuclear white first. Right. And then the pink ones had pink over. Right, so that's... That's... The Reaper over yeah. white. Yeah. Reaper over uh, full grim citadel and reaper of a centaur skin and the white one is like bright yellow and yeah. the other two are orangey hues so it depends yeah. if, if you want your yellow to look more orange then use pink yeah, well, the, the, <laughs> there's a wild pokemon the, the in chat that is a weird looking thing what is that it's like mm, it's like a nautilus swallowed a mm. fish <laughs> Yeah, full grim pink then. That's the uh, that's yeah, the right. and, and then oh, you guess oh, I, did, right. I did three. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's that citadel yellow. I can't say that begins with a phyaxi or something. Phalanx yellow. Yeah, that's that's it. I couldn't say it in the video either. And that's that's <laughs> over white. Well, that's a, that's the same thing over full grim pink, and that's the same thing over centaur skin. Yeah. So I, I, think, skin. I think that everybody is agreeing that more of a peachy, fleshy coloured pink, so centaur, centaur skin mm. is more of a peachy, whereas... Um, centaur, centaur skin, there you go. Whereas the other one is, is more of a magenta -y. So that's it. Like a peachy. But there is a video on YouTube if you want to see the, the full thing. So now we've got loads of little yellow goblins. Yeah, paint some. Shelmet, it was called. What was? Oh, that thing. Yeah, it was weird though, wasn't it? It wasn't particularly what its name was. It was just a weird looking thing. Try and get you back. There you are. Me. Hello, you. The white is brighter. <laughs> it is. The white's brighter. And the third one is the best, says Red. It shows up better when you start highlighting it and the shadows look more contrasty. Uh, otherwise, I'm wasting my time on my uh, yellow dragon that I'm working on right now. 
yeah, it was just a quick, it was a quick experiment. I did say in the video that obviously uh, if you were painting the miniatures properly, then you would do each individual section and there would be highlights and contrasts. <laughs> oh, hey thank John. you very much, John. Thank you. Colin and Jerry are in the work in progress on Discord. Is Tony? Awesome. Paint science with MLG. Oh, I'll never go that far, Crafty. I mean, I, I do try and start all of my videos with the disclaimer of this is just me trying out something. <laughs> Hope it helps, but it might not. <laughs> Yeah, you are on a roll tonight. You've got more Pokemon than anyone knows how to shake a stick at now. So Red, anyway, red, say, red says his oval team's kicking in. <laughs> be asleep does, soon. Does, it, yeah, does oval team make you tired? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. So anyway, back to the... Yeah, I've got no to paint. I'm just sitting here. Oh, find sitting something. Here. Yeah, but what am I going to paint tomorrow if I ain't got to paint now? <laughs> Boxes full of minis. Pick something. The idea with the pink is that you either shade, shade white with pink and then paint yellow over or spray it pink and go for a white xenophil before painting yellow. That's how it works. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, you can tell slightly. So by having all the different shades and tones underneath, uh, I suppose might do something, but I don't know. I can't really be bothered. But then that does show in my, uh, in my painting. But it also showed, I hope it also showed, the different yellows. So the two thin coats. Yeah. And the Reaper. Sculpey yellow, I think, is a really nice coat. It's a, a really, like, orangey tone, hasn't it? Yeah. Really. Egg, egg yolk yellow. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a warm. It's warm, isn't it? We like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know what that weird little noise was. You just made. <laughs> I don't know. You wanted to join in, didn't you, I did. Anna? I did. So anyway, yeah. Mm. Got, there's loads of like RCL stuff I could be doing because. There is. But I again. Get your finger out and get some. Ah, oh, what am I missing at? Let's have a look what there. So I've done my dragon for classic monsters with a great MLG brush off this month. Is classic monsters. I hope you're all joining in and having lots of fun. We've painted a dragon already. That blue one is rubbish. Oh, yeah. I, I really don't like it. It seems like it, you painted it last month. Uh, but I didn't, thank you very much. <laughs> Somebody else said that January was dragon and it should already be February. I'm quite happy that it's not racing by like everything else. Uh, but I do know what you mean. <clears throat> so I suppose I could paint something else for that, but but really... What what other uh, challenges have you got to do? Have you done like limited palette? No, I haven't done any of them. I haven't done. I've done. I, <sighs> I think there's a small person. <sighs> Halfway through a sentence, get screamed at. You have to tell us what you're painting. <laughs> <clears throat> so this uh, these guys. Uh, if you haven't heard me saying how uh, how good they are, so apparently the miniatures game, Song of Ice and Fire. Is absolutely terrible. Never tried it, don't know. Only going off what people have told me that the game itself is absolutely rubbish. Miniatures, absolutely fantastic though. Love them. So uh, that's why I'm using these guys for my uh, Kings of War Force. I have. Uh, we've stocked some of these in the past at MLG, but uh, they were never overly popular. And I think that's down to the game. So uh, I actually picked these uh, these minis up um, from a variety of different places uh, generally when they were uh, on sale or something I've got myself some bargains uh, which is uh, not not just on the channel to try and flog stuff to uh, people it's uh, it's all about what we're uh, what we're doing and what we're playing and stuff so this is uh, this is one of the she bears she's uh the burly ladies from the um what's it called 
Can't remember where they're from. Bear Island. Should have known that, really. They're from Bear Island. The uh, the Mormons is the uh, the family. The little the little bear, little lady who is very grumpy. Lyanna in uh, in Game of Thrones, very outspoken because she's had to take over after her, uh, after her mother's died. Some would argue I might be having a bit too much fun with the January brush off, says Tony. We even have a new behavioural reaction for mimics. A new behavioural reaction. You might have to explain that one, Tony. I'm, it'll make as soon as you say something, it's going to make sense, and I'm going to feel like an idiot. painted those bits I think that they're supposed to be armor plates on our legs let's have a look on the next one see if we've missed something mm, yeah she's actually got she's actually got armor on the front of her legs and uh, sloshing paint around all over the place on her trousers and I'm actually uh, painting what's supposed to be armor in, in cloth color They've all got because uh, they're she bears. That's uh, that's what they're called in the uh, in the rules in the uh, on the box and what have you. More bunch she bears, but because they're uh, they're from Bear Island, they've all got bear skins wrapped around them. So uh, there's a, there's a foot. Some of them have got uh, bear heads stuck on them and things like that. And they've all got these massive maces, these powerful looking uh, warriors. Oh, that was, that was nearly fatal. Old Moss Island is just having a look at the Song of Ice and Fire minis on their website. They look like really good. They are really, really nice. There's a little bit of uh, limitation with how many, uh, how many poses and what have you there are available for different things. But... Uh, Aside from that, so this is the reason why I'm painting all these models that have got two-handed weapons. I've already painted a load of Knight's Watch that have got two-handed swords. Um, and what's going to happen with these guys that I'm doing here is uh, because I'm going to be using them for Kings of War and, uh, and Warhammer Fantasy. So I'm going to mix the units up so I get more variety of poses in my uh, in my units. So. We there's uh, there's going to be a combination of two-handed weapons uh, across the units for a bit of variety, and it also allowed me to field two or three larger units that are nicely mixed um, with a variety of sculpts. Karina goes back. Interwebs went out, and I had to reset the internet box. Yeah, we've uh, we've been having some real problems with the internet at the shop recently the uh, BT have acknowledged that there is a problem and uh, and it seems to be continuing unfortunately we've got almost daily cutouts of service although it tends it does tend to come back on pretty quick uh, it is very annoying if you because our phone at the shop is connected through the internet as well Ah no, it's gone. The chat's like moving up too fast. Got it. Uh, jump around. I, I, I've missed it. I've missed it. I'm gonna have to. They act over friend. They are like over friendly dogs that are really pleased to see you, but don't know their own strength. Bounding around, following the party, excitedly panting, lolling tongue, surreptitiously spraying drool everywhere. And waggling its puddling pseudopod like an excited puppy. <laughs> uh, what you like? What 
quality of life. But uh, you could write a supplement for D and D, Tony, with uh, descriptions like that. To uh, see if you can make it f conversant with the new uh, OGL rules. I believe there's uh, there's some revisions or something happened. Haven't fully read up on the situation yet, but I understand there's a little bit of backpedaling occurred. The dog's just forced its way back under the uh, under the table. It's been a very good boy today. Very good boy. At the shop, hasn't uh, hasn't eaten anything or anybody. He, uh, he's been a very good boy. So today was the first day um, of winter hours, which means uh, first day that the shop was closed. Um, during the day, so uh, Mondays only, uh, just because Mondays like a bit of a quiet day anyway, um, in the shop generally. So we chose Mondays to uh, cut down on our opening hours, just give us a little bit of chance to try and catch up on uh, some other work and stuff, but uh, mainly uh, getting orders packed and processed and what have you. Um, show. Today was, uh, that's Mrs. MLG has been to help me and there's uh, just been us there. Are we all alright, Mrs. MLG? I'm all the head in the fire. Oh, okay. Mrs. MLG is sticking her head in the fire. She's had enough of me. She didn't, uh, she didn't want to go on. Did you ask me at this? <laughs> has had a wobbly tooth for at least oh, I don't know three weeks yeah and like ridiculously wobbly is it, is it finally come out and her other one is fully grown underneath and I've got absolutely no idea how that wobbly one is still in so I've done some dentistry and it's not in anymore yay <laughs> so now it's under a pillow waiting for the tooth fairy <laughs> <laughs> It was, Have you been keeping up with all this chat? I've been doing my level best. In oh, fact, I, I, I even had to, even had to roll uh, back up a little bit on the mouse over there ah. so I could see what was going on. There's a wild Pokemon in chat. There that is looks quite cute. Shrub troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moss, old Moss Eyes is first time chatting. Yeah, with uh, with, with said hello quickly hello. and uh, cool and uh, and done that. Oh, excellent. Wow. If you're enjoying it, don't forget to give us a follow. It's always cool. <laughs> Thanks for sending out my missing paints from the Reaper box. Yeah, sealed sealed yeah. Reaper box. Yeah. Had we, some missing paints in it, didn't it? Yeah, we had... Uh, I don't know, blue I, today. don't know if I mentioned uh, before, but we had another box in, uh, in stock. Uh, the same. So I opened that to take the paints out for you while we uh, get some replacements back from Reaper and uh, they were missing out of that one as well must have missed them in the factory which yeah. is not good at all is it no. so uh, anyway we've, uh, we got, we've dug some out and sent them over I've well, got them, used them excellent excellent yes. yeah so uh, just waiting for uh, some replacements from Reaper. Oh, John caught the cute little Pokemon. We've got. Uh, we need to do a Reaper. We need to restock. do lots of things. We need to do lots of things. <laughs> so anyway, still not paying out. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the middle of a sentence. I was in the middle of was. a sentence, and then I thought, Mommy! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This tooth's still loose. I know, yeah. You go put it in, see what she wants. My teeth's wobbly. Yeah, it's been wobbly for years. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's not wobbly anymore. The tooth fairy now has to remember to come to our house tonight. Mm. Oh, yeah, because it was devastating when the tooth fairy hadn't come one day. But it was really windy, so that was. Uh, 
Yeah, well, it, yeah, she, it she was finding it very hard to, to fly in a straight line. And it has, was only the first and last ever time uh, that the two's fairy had forgotten. Well, or, didn't, or, didn't couldn't, or couldn't get couldn't, here because of the, the gale force winds. Yeah. That might have been when Wicked D lost her roof tiles, it was that long. It, it might have been. Has, uh, was the wind f- fast enough the other night, Wicked D, to achieve your uh, <laughs> to achieve aspirations? Your goals. Oh yes, Chronico. They'll, they'll be fine. Reaper are, are, are really good like that. We we just have to actually contact them <laughs> yeah. in the first place. The Tooth Fairy can only do contactless at the moment. Well, the Tooth Fairy um, at Grandma's house is a different Tooth Fairy to the one at our house. And the Tooth Fairy at Grandma's house leaves more money than the Tooth Fairy at our house. So yeah. uh, Little Miss likes it at Grandma's house when the Tooth Fairy comes uh, at our house. Uh, the Tooth Fairy leaves 50 pence, which I think is more than enough. Me too. Uh, but the Tooth Fairy at Grandma's house leaves gold coins. I don't I don't know. I did spot a roof tile off in town, though, so I, so now I just have to go t- get... Yeah, so now I just have to get the enthusiasm to start starting. Yes, well, that's what happened last time. Just get it done. It was really windy. I am sure that it was windy enough. It blew... Uh, uh, a garden chair across the garden in our garden. Is it? Yeah. I only saw the bird bath. Hmm? I only saw the bird bath. No, well, the, one, I mean... the one that's outside the garage. Yeah. But yeah. then that's not, they're not really heavy items, are they? A garden chair. I mean, I know it's wooden, <laughs> but it's not really It's not really heavy. It also snapped the uh, the weather vane. The un- yeah, we had did. a unicorn yeah. weather vane and the unicorn was on the ground. Uh, it couldn't fly because it wasn't Pegasus. Um, and then you said that on King Street, with the glass-topped table from the cafe, oh, yeah. a couple of doors down, blew up King Street and smashed into the uh, post outside the shop, yeah, and now there's glass everywhere. There's a. Uh... <laughs> so you know all of those things. We, we, we could be eyewitnesses, Wicked D, to, to telling yeah. them all these things have happened. It was windy. <laughs> yeah, yeah a, uh... table blew up the street and smashed into the bollard. Mm. I'm glad they didn't smash into the window. Me Why too. would they leave the chair? I mean, it was ridiculously. Why would you leave the tables and chairs outside on the windiest street in Brid? <laughs> Who knows? No, no, the unicorn didn't impale anybody, and the unicorn will be going back up again. It's been fixed at least three times. Mm. Oh, Panda's crying, everybody. Poor Panda, mm. don't cry. It's all right. Like nobody pays attention to me anymore. They're all trying to catch Pokemon and nobody cares. <laughs> Sorry, Konico and Tony are looking after you. You just have to be patient. I was supposed to be looking up the RCL to see what the categories were. <sighs> and I forgot. Uh, that's, so that's what I was going to do. But they, they haven't written them in a way that I understand this, this no. year. They're just in a big list, and that's my brain goes yeah, we, like, we haven't nope. Got, we haven't got the fancy chart table things like we had last time. Mm, not yet. No. I, I've got a list earlier on that's going to be very helpful for us. Oh, okay. Um, uh, but I need to get on the computer to do something with it. It's uh, it's a list from WizKids of all the unpainted minis that are like discontinued and stuff. Right. So we know what we can kind of clean up from the website that uh, like right. we will never be getting again because they've stopped them. Okay. And uh, and then what's uh, likely to come back. Okay. So that's pretty uh, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um. It has been pointed out to John, not by me, but by somebody else in the RCL, that July's limited palette and January's limited palette are exactly the same, just written in a different order. <laughs> so January is green, blue and yellow, and July is blue, yellow and green. <laughs> so I don't know if they'll end up changing that or not, but he did just go, yep, that was intentional. <laughs> so maybe they won't. <laughs> Maybe well uh, September. I think they're running out of ideas because September is purple, blue, and blue, and then in brackets, but a different blue. It's like <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, 
I might do that one. But anyway. I've not really bothered with limited palettes a yeah, great deal. Did I did them at the start and then I'm just It's not something I enjoy. To be fair, I did every single thing in the RCL to start off with. But then I was doing my three six five minis yeah. at you know in the year. Uh but it's, it has taken a dip, drastic dip. And, and, the, and, and the, why is that, my darling? Well, I just can't be bothered. And the, <laughs> if I'm honest, the mod, the mod choice seemed very difficult this year. Have you seen the moderator's choice for the mm. RCL? No, no. So uh, in quarter one, which is what we're in now, it's year of the rabbit, rabbit's foot. Right. So some rabbit theme, which seems very, okay. very niche. Uh, I might. I'm, is there is there like like a mound of earth, and I could just say the rabbits under there? That'd be quite funny. Is there like a pile of pile of earth that I can just paint brown? There, there is like hair folk, isn't there? There is, yeah. but I mean, it's you know, it seems very small category. Uh, quarter two is some technique I've never tried before, which right. for most of the people that do the RCL, that's going to be very hard because most of them are seasoned painters, aren't they? That have been painting for years. Well, you that I mean, would, it's not could like, be it's easy not, for you because yeah. you could do slap chop. Well, it's not it's not hard for a beginner, obviously. But I mean, like, seasoned painters might have to resort to, I've just dipped it in this paint to see what happens. Uh, quarter three is anime or comic book style. That's really hard, isn't yeah. it? All black lines and things. And uh, quarter four is inner hero or villain. So, yeah, I don't know. They just seem, they just seem quite, they just seem quite difficult. Um, and obviously, January's theme is just freebie, which I, I haven't even done that could paint anything I ain't even done that I'm just such a failure get that black coach cracked out oh no no I'm keeping that for the uh, great MLG brush off uh, the theme of I've just been putting this one off which isn't isn't how we've titled it but it's basically what it is <laughs> 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 how, how did I title it everybody uh, always wanted to paint or march for out of your comfort zone. It could be could be either of those. Fair enough. But yeah, but always wanted to paint is basically something you've had sat over there staring at you for quite a while, but never quite got round to. <laughs> but for January, classic monsters, classic monsters. Yes, that's what I mean, Tony. That's it's not that's not easy, is it? That's not easy at all. The anime style. That's no, no. Not, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know, really. New technique, like actually finishing a mini until I'm happy with it. No, we'd all be there for like the rest of our lives, wouldn't we? I mean, your minis are amazing. You're still not happy with them, because because everybody's got their inner critic. Would just be like it. It'd never finish. <laughs> it would just be painting the same mini forever. No, I need to just paint something and then just submit it for freebie. Because then just paint out. I mean, I still really need to paint my last Twisted, don't I? My last Malifaux yeah. um, puppy clips. But I've been putting it off because it's fire, and I don't like fire, it's scary. I always get it the wrong way around. Brighter in the centre. Oh, I, that's what I mean, I always get it the, the wrong way around. Uh, and I know I always get it the wrong way around, and I still always get it the wrong way around. <laughs> I think it's because we're all tempted to do because of the way that you do highlights to do the lighter thing on the tips, but that's not how it. Happens. Oh, I'm just a bit dense, and I don't know what I'm doing. Minis are never finished, merely abandoned. <laughs> yeah, about right. This guy's got like a little stopper on the end of his axe, and the other guy didn't. I might have to get him back and just double check. Anyway, you've only got a minute. I've not painted a single thing, there's a minute left. A minute? What are we doing after stream? Uh, what do you want to do? Are we doing the reaper order? Uh, <laughs> that was a no. Uh, or am I collecting iron ore? <laughs> yeah, you, well, yeah, you need to collect some iron ore. So. I'll, put, I'll put this mini back in its box then, because... I'm not going to do it now, am I? Yeah. I do play it. it the wrong way too. I regret nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I always do it the wrong way. Do it. Don't put it away because you're going to be painting it tomorrow night. Oh, but it's tiny. I won't be able to see it. Yeah. And no, because yeah. I can't see the. I can't see my desk or the screen when I'm painting yeah, with okay. you. 
So I need a mini that I can see. Okay, what are you going to paint tomorrow night with? I don't know. Oh. Um, I've got some ogres. Mm, you can I paint. Don't know. Uh, anyway, this is just me whinging now. I, anyway. When really we need you need to be telling us what you're doing and what's happening, and we can say goodnight. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay, so I uh, I will be working on uh, these guys again tomorrow because uh, I've started. So, so I'll finish. So I'm going to have to finish them because that's my uh, New Year's restitution. We don't have New Year's resolution. It's not. It's not something. <laughs> Just being silly. We do. Just being silly. So, uh, but no, I've decided that this uh, this is I'm going to start a start a set of minis and finish it this this month at least. So. Uh, these guys are i've started them so these guys are all going to get finished i've uh, got some squeak hoppers as well yeah you have. all sorts of stuff i've just I've got before i move on to uh, the dragon and the ant keg that i am uh, also going to finish, finish. Mm, can't do although the dragon is a quarterly thing isn't it it's uh, isn't it yeah classic yes. monster for thingy. it's quite it's uh, our large group large group i so. haven't even found out for that yet so, oh, I'm just uh, so, <laughs> so Ankeg um, after these, and then maybe a bit of dragon. I need to make her wings. I might be able to do a Sophie. She's got wings. Yeah, you could. So anyway. Sophie's have got wings. Anyway, uh, take care, everybody. Yeah, and that's we'll uh, that's six. it. That's it. That's all there is for six tonight. Six o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah, See you all then. Out. Thank you very much, everyone. We really appreciate you being here and listening to me, me whinge and, and Nathan paint. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone. Cheers, guys. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye.